Alrighty guys, welcome back to some more Slave Spy and welcome back to another daily. Let's see what we've got today. March 22nd with the Ironclad today. Back with the Ironclad after a lot of uh, silent runs. Some really big scores there, let's see what we've got. Uh, diverse, start with two cards from another class, very interesting. Terminal, whenever you enter a new room, lose one max HP but start with five pointed armor. Okay, and whenever you add a card to your deck, add two additional copies. You can no longer remove cards from your deck of a merchant. Right, so we really need a way of getting max HP as soon as possible. What was that? Noxious... Oh my god. Noxious Fumes and Dash, so we got three of each of them. Dash is super good. Um, but is it super good early? There's a lot of shops around. Because we're not Right, we've only got free energy. So. I mean, I can do that and kill you. Not take any damage. Got to remember, we've got five from plated as well, so. I think we'll just do the same this turn. So you're two off lethal, not taking any damage. But we're already at 79 max HP, which is not good. Uh, would we appreciate three of any of these? I think a sword boomerang, yes. If we can get some strength upgrades, that really racks up. So again, I think it's just dash. And sword boomerang is actually better than a strike, so. I pretty much think we're just going to keep on playing, uh, keep on playing the dashes. We popped out noxious fumes. Add some spare energy, no reason not to. Right, this is where it gets a bit more complicated. So that's 9 damage. And you're dead. Okay. The turn we didn't draw a dash. Now a whirlwind would be good as well, but we don't really have that much energy. But it would be good later on if we get more energy and strength upgrades and all that stuff. I'm going to continue this way. Uh, upgrade a card. Let's upgrade a dash. Because we're using that quite a lot at the moment. Anything we'd want three of. I mean, second wind. Because we will, we'll end up with a lot of them, though. I think we just skip for now. Take our money with us. Uh, if we removed a card, what would we remove? Just like a basic strike? Sure. We have a basic strike. Okay, don't need to rest. Upgrade another dash. This upgrades block and damage, so it's super strong. Although we didn't draw any... This turn, which sucks. We've got enough of them in our deck. Okay. So that's five damage. So boomerangs in nine, so. Okay. Same again. And you're dead. Quite easy combat so far. We need some strength enablers. We need um, some max HP enablers, really. Okay. So we're going to have quite a few of these that aren't upgraded, but we'll work our way through them. What are you giving me? Juicer bracelet? Not really important. But getting something like that is not bad, although we are taking two damage. Did get the double noxious out though, which is going to be useful. Okay, not taking any damage this turn. So that's fine. Let's do that. So, the combat at the moment is very, um, very same old, same old. We're just doing the same thing every turn. I don't think we benefit from that. There's something to be said about Clothesline, but I prefer, I think it's Uppercut. I'm not even sure if Uppercut's this class, actually. That's not bad. Just spread out the damage. But Uppercut does one weak, one vulnerable. Which is sort of the better version. 
Okay, I guess we just do that. If I hit you for 10, you'll be on 14, so that won't kill you. So that's 18 damage. Or 19 damage. So this is still technically more damage. But it's not going to weave or anything. We still have burning board as well, so we can take some hits. Which is fine. I'm going to risk this. Uh, I didn't go where I wanted it to. But two people are dead. No matter what, really. I think you do this, and then do that. There you go. Vyra, Vardra, Vardra. Gain one strength at the start of each combat. It's pretty good. Uh, Cleave's useful. But I don't think we need three of them. But I guess everything becomes relative. Because if you're adding three of everything, it's just like adding one of everything in a weird way. I think we'll take metal size so we can stack them up. And if we get something like mummified hand as well, super nice. Uh, let's upgrade the flexes. I don't know what we should be upgrading, but flex seems like a good option. So we don't need to block here. But that would not do that much. So I think that's actually a stronger attack. I'm actually going to pop out Noxious as well. It's going to be slow. So it might not do enough. But it will tick and do something. Uh, I do want to play the Flex. But I don't want to enrage him. So I'm just going to play our Metallicizers. Only take a slight bit of damage. So dash is really nice in this as well because it's an attack that gives you block. So you can you can play an attack and still be fine. Um, okay, it's actually better to play two strikes. Whirlwind's better against multiple enemies, it seems. Okay, you're dead. Regal Pillow as well. Heal an additional 15 HP when you rest. It's pretty, pretty good. Again, I'm going to skip them. I don't know what this deck needs. That's my main problem. Okay, I was trying to calculate it in my head and apparently I was correct. Uh, a Pummel might be good. Don't need to rest, so it's fine. Upgrade another dash. So yeah, mainly what we need from this boss is um, more energy, really. That's the only thing we really need. This is a lot of damage incoming. So what I'm actually going to do something like that. We can block most of it. We've got more block for every other turn. As much as I want to make you vulnerable, that is a smarter option. Keep poisoning you. Definitely double flex. And then whirlwind. Doing 14 damage twice, which is very nice. Uh, that's 12. That's 12. And then 7. So I guess that's more damage doing that. We can get something like Shuriken as well. That'll definitely help out. The main thing you need with um, 
with ironclad decks is just a ton of strength. I uh, prefer a regen there. Right, feed is going to be useful because we can maybe get some max HP back. That's something we're missing at the moment. And then, yeah, probably curse key. We can maybe get the um, the gemstone thing that gives you more max HP as well. For every curse you have. Okay. Let's do that. Take two damage. If we can get him low. It's not going to be low enough, is it? Okay, maybe we do it that way. Feed off him to get some more max HP. Got enough block. Yeah. It's a better option. So this deck isn't bad at the moment. Uh, strike you. Let's feed on you as well. So we've got two max HP upgrades there, which is really good. Uh, I don't need any of that. What can this shop give me? Hmm, not really what I was looking for. Let's get a happy flower. And then just probably save the rest of our money. We need to fight some elites and stuff like that. We need to get some proper relics going. Doesn't matter about that one exhausting, we've got enough in the deck. Five energy this turn, probably should have bashed first. That's fine. No, we're going to take one damage. Would have liked to have drawn a feed, but that's fine. Heavy boy is going to be super useful here as well. Uh, let's go with question marks. Yeah, you know what, go for it. Don't need to remove any cards. We want to do the elite. Okay. Again, the feed is is fine to play because we've got enough of them in our deck. It had five energy this turn. That's 12, that's still more damage than the Whirlwind. So we are going to take 10, but that's nothing against an Elite, really. Okay, do that. Play that, and I'd love to kill you with that. It's just short. Maybe we can draw another one next turn. Ah, shame. Okay. Whetstone. Hey, upgraded Heavy Blade and a Sword Boomerang. Very nice. Um, bum, bum, bum. Whenever you lose HP from a card, I don't think we're losing any from a card. Another three heavy boys might be a bit too much. But it's so tempting. I think we'll just skip for now. We've got quite a thick deck already. So. Okay, let's pop that. I mean, that's one that Rupture would work on. Come to think of it. Okay, feed on you. Very nice. And we have one energy to spare. Oh, we got three Jaxes as well. That's pretty cool. <laughs> okay, that soon ramps up. There we go. More feeds. Go for it. We'll try and pull it off. Okay, I want to go for the guy in the back. I would have appreciated a dash or something. Can't kill you. I'm going to take a lot of damage here. Ouch.
As dumb as it looks. And then seven times three, seven fourteen twenty one damage. I think you're better doing that. As dumb as it looks. It's a lot of damage. These guys are like probably one of the toughest elites on this floor. That won't kill, but that will. Don't need to defend, so just smack you. Again, we haven't actually rested yet, so we've done well to last this long. Right. Uh, that's not quite enough. Okay, we'll see. Uh, no, we'll just kill. We'll just kill. We'll not risk it. Okay, upgraded Jax in the defend. Defend's not really useful, but the Jax is okay. Okay, we've got a curse. Does that give us three of them? It does. That's quite bad. Healing is 50% more effective during combat, which means our burning board is more effective. We could do with something like Blue Candle as well, really. Or something like Bag of Marbles as well. That'd be super useful. I think you're going to have to play a defend just because of how much damage is coming in. Okay, you're dead next turn. Well, you should... No, you're not anymore. Well, we have four energy in our hand. So that's fine. No, no, we have five energy in our hand. Oh, well. You should be dead unless you heal before poison goes. Which you didn't. So that's fine. That was pretty strong. As was that. Okay. Don't think we need either of them either. Okay, on the Mori. What's this curse? Clumsy. Ethereal as well, so it will exhaust. We're gonna rest here. That'll take us basically to max. Uh stupid question mark. Yeah, let's receive a relic. We did become uh cursed, but on the Mori negated it. Enemies with vulnerable take 75% more damage rather than 50%. That's pretty good. Okay. Let's see what this does. Not really what I wanted. That'll stop you flying and then we can feed on you. And then, let's just put them to block for future turns. Okay, dash is effective here. We now have enough block already. So let's pummel you in the face. And then let's just play the extra block. We didn't need to actually, but sure. We have quite a few curses, but they're not really affecting us. Just because of all the strength gains and such we have. Like this turn, it did affect us. Quite badly. I'm going to take 20 damage. That was just because we didn't draw well. We can feed on you before you die though. So we're back up to 70 max HP, which is really nice. Yeah, this is a card I was after, the uppercut. Especially an upgraded one. That is awesome. Uh, I'm going to rest. Just to top myself off. Let's take a strength potion, not that we need it. This is still one of our strongest attacks. Let's play that. And but it's more than a feed, so let's play that. Okay. So I think we're just going to do dash and uppercut. You can't feed on the minions, which is disappointing. That's fine. Shouldn't be taking any damage here. Oh no, we're taking one. That, that's nothing. Uh, I'd like a turn that isn't just strength gains. But sure. Free energy carried over, that's real pain. Because we're just going to lose that. Ok. 
Okay. That. Hang on. 12 times 4, 48. That would basically kill you. And then although it's not going to raise max HP, it will kill you. And we get a feedback that we can use on you as well. So 20 damage incoming. We're blocking 6 of it. Yeah. So 14 damage incoming. <clears throat> that does suck. Uh, that will kill you outright. Okay, I think we've used up all our feeds now. But that's fine. Okay, this is massive attack. Are we dead? I'm not sure. Let's just drink that and see what happens. Now we're... We got 17 blocks somehow. We're pretty close to dead though. Bash and pummel, and he's dead. That was doing 16 times 4 or something, then. Did a what? Uh, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. We don't need any of these. It pains me to do it, but I don't think we do. Maybe this? Yeah, let's take it. We're going to end up with loads of them, but sure. Strikes are actually pretty powerful. Just take Eternal Feather, I suppose. Okay, so Donu and the Decker. We haven't really found anything that solidifies this deck yet. It's not quite perfect. Okay, that didn't really do anything interesting. Okay, so these are a good candidate to feed off as well. Although, we don't really got the choice at the moment. There's a lot of damage incoming as well. Slow start to this fight. You come back to life. Deal 31 to you and kill you, so it's fine. These are actually giving me quite a, a tough time. I'm not going to be able to kill you either. And we're taking 20 damage. 11 damage. You're regrowing. I just need the right attacks. Let's see what this does first. Repeat off you, heavyweight you. That's fine. I don't want any of them. Give me something good. It's still nothing good, but... Sure. 12 cards. Wild Strike, Emily. Bash, Clumsy. Mind Blast, Intimidate. Intimidate. I don't want an Intimidate. Mind boss, mind boss. That's going to be good. Especially if we can upgrade it as well. Find some potions. Let's take that and that. Actually, probably a block instead of the decks because we don't actually block that much. Uh, we'll lose a strike. That's fine. Probably shouldn't have gone this way with how much health we have, but sure. 12 damage. Seven damage. Okay.
still more damage, even though we're going to carry over one energy. Okay. Need to stop taking damage. That would be super useful. It's about halfway. Which is quite scary because we have no blocks this turn other than a metal size. What's that going to take us to? Like seven? We should probably drink that. Okay, this is a big attack from him, but we did manage to feed on him. This is what I was after. Whenever you obtain a curse, increase your max HP by 6. We could have done with that a long time ago. So we get some HP back just for turning up from Eternal Feather, which is what I wanted. And then we're going to whiff, try and get our strength to max before reaching the final boss. Uh, I'm just going to weave. I know, it's a bad person. Ah, uh, Amamori negated this, which sucks, because that would have given us some max HP because of this. Uh, these are not bad candidates to feed off of. Like so. We could do with a lot of dashes here as well. Or something like Noxious. Okay, because you're going to explode. Wait, is this a countdown now for the exploding? They seem to have changed that. It seems like he's going to explode next turn. All right. I did want to do the whirlwind, but that fallen damage would have just been too much. I would deal 33 damage. Okay. Didn't get fawns from it. More heavy blades? Sure. Uh, this isn't too bad. As long as we can get the right cards. It's not bad at all. Okay, two damage coming in, which is nothing. Let's throw that and then feed on you. Okay. Six damage or seven damage or something. Mind boss is always incredible. Champion belt whenever you apply a vulnerable, also apply one weak. Super good. Don't need any more cards right now. Okay, so these gave us some problems last time. But we can kill you from the get-go with that. Uh, let's dash. Ah, so close. You know what? Sod it. That not count as a kill because you regenerate. It's so that's super annoying. Uh, yeah, that was close. I uh, don't need any of them. Carry on. Lose all gold, but gain red mask. I mean, we're not doing anything else with our gold. I suppose. And it will negate their uh, the bosses. Uh, artifacts, that's the word I was looking for. So 
just kill you off. If we had something like barricade or something as well, this would be super useful. You're not really a problem, you are a problem. Let's just kill you off. Because you just throw dazes into the deck, which I'm probably never going to see anyway, to be honest. Okay, and then... Okay, we don't have a feed, so we just have to heavy blade you. Skip them. And look for one last time, because we field up to full anyway. We only have 61 max HP, but it's boss time. Alright. Um, just pop this up. Pop this. Feeds us more. Okay, we're quite low on health already. Which is a problem. I'm not going to lie. So that's 44 or 28. Okay, this may be the death of us, which is kind of to be expected. I'm not going to lie. Get some more max HP though. 30, yeah. Okay, we're dead. <laughs> I just worked out how much damage he was doing. Ah, uh, 695 though. Ah, uh, we just needed to draw the dashes at the end. That's all we really needed. Just to put some block up. That's a shame. That was going alright. We just didn't have any... Anything giving us max HP earlier. Um, the only things we really had was a feed and then that... Um, Darkstone gem thing. Which we didn't get in time. But oh well. Quite a fun daily. I'll probably play through it off cam and just try and beat it. Because it's, it wasn't too hard. We we nearly had it there. Just needed more relics and uh, more synergies. But thank you all very much for watching guys. And until next time, as always, take care folks.